Welcome back everybody, welcome back to the Doc Squiffy channel. Today we're going to do some tips, tricks and just home maintenance to stop your fire stick from buffering, okay? Buffering is one of the worst things you can get when you're watching whether they're official apps or unofficial apps. I'm going to talk about a few different reasons why this might happen. I'm going to talk about a few different things which can cause it, okay? There's a few, there's a few different things. There's a few different things, whether it's device, whether it's internet, whether it's setup. Or we're going to cover it in one video. And if you like this sort of content and you do like streaming content, do remember to hit that subscribe button. If you're a regular watcher here, if you can, do remember to hit that share button. We've got you everything streaming related all on one channel. So, buffering. Comment underneath if you have any issues with buffering. Comment underneath if you have any tips for buffering. And I'm going to run through a few that you can do, just home maintenance. And there's a few which are just simple, okay? Very, very simple. First ones we're going to look at is your specific internet and your specific speeds. And we're going to check that on your device. Plus, we're going to then figure out if you're actually looking at the correct sort of links, okay? So, first of all, go to find, type in here, Analyti, okay? Get Analyti. This is a speed test Wi-Fi analyzer, okay? Get it installed on your device for free. It's in the Amazon store. So what you're going to look at is your speeds you get from your internet service provider. And this will determine what you can stream. Because we've all used those streaming apps and you'll see different file sizes, okay? Some would be one gigabyte, some would be 700 megabytes, some would be two gigabytes, some could be two and a half gigabytes, and you think, oh, I want to watch this film, just click it, no matter what. But it all depends on what your internet speed is and whether you can stream it or not. So first you're going to do is check your internet speed. So I'm going to check mine and I'm going to have a quick look at it and we're going to talk about it, okay? So this will tell me my speeds. Um, I'm on my home network. Right now I have zero um, VPN connected. I haven't turned one on, okay? So I've got really high speeds. 343 megabytes per second download, which is very high on a Wi-Fi connection. 28, 29 upload. We don't really need the upload, okay? So what it's telling me is I can do 4K gaming, 1080p gaming, 1080p full HD, um, 4K Ultra HD, and even up to 8K movies. But that's not always specifically correct, okay? It all depends on the file size. So if you've got, say, about 30 to 40 megabyte download speed, when you pick a movie to watch, aim around 1 to 2 gigabyte. Don't go crazy, okay? Even now with this speed I have, if I picked a movie or a film, I picked between one to two gigabyte size, file size, okay? Mainly because there's a lot more which comes to it. I might have good download speeds, but the bandwidth in your house, there might be other people on the internet, and it's just a lot of data it has to download. And not just is it a lot of data, it's a lot of data which has to fit on your Fire Stick, okay? And this is crucial as well, really crucial. So first of all, go to your settings. Go to um, My Fire TV, we can go that way. Go to about and storage, okay? I have 1.6 gigabyte of storage available. I bet lots of you have well under that. Let me know in the comments how much storage you have available when you check this. I have 1.6 gigabyte available. You need a certain amount available storage to stop your device from buffering, okay? When you stream a program, when you stream a program, you download a temporary file, okay? So you download part of that movie, which is your, you know when you have that little grey bar which goes along like your buffer area, and you know I can watch that much, even if the internet cut out before it would stop. That has to download onto your device, okay? If you've got no storage, there's no room for that to download. And if the movie or the film you're trying to watch, um, with all the audio settings and everything like that, is 20 gigabyte plus, you need a lot of storage to download some of that to watch it, okay? So make sure you have at least one gigabyte spare storage. This is one of the biggest and most crucial things on your Fire Stick is to make sure you have about one gigabyte spare storage. If you're to your brim, you're to your max, and you try and stream something, there isn't enough room to download that content to do it, okay? If anyone needs to know how to clear up more space or hidden storage on your device, I will link a video underneath. Um, it's all on my channel as well for you, okay? All on my channel. So it's really important to make sure that is happening, okay? That you've got the space. Other ones you can do is make sure you've got no background processes running so you're not overusing the RAM of the device. 
So a Fire Stick doesn't come with a lot of RAM. It probably ranges between about one gigabyte of RAM to two gigabyte of RAM, okay? So this is your RAM which you use to um, run processes, okay? It's not your storage, your memory. It's the one you do to run processes. So another one to do is make sure you've got no apps running in the background. So you can go into your applications, and if you're worried something is running in the background, um, sorry, settings, applications, not that one, Manage installed applications. If you're worried something's still running, because many apps still run, you can just click on them and force close them. We've got some videos on the channel as well regarding how to close apps if you think they're running in the background quickly. But you can just click on them. doesn't matter what it is. There's certain ones which will always run. Like if you click on Downloader, click Force Stop, and it will run in the background. That will help clear up your processes and your memory. Another bit we like to cover, if we can, in your settings menu, Real quick one before the end of this video, go to preferences, literally from featured content upwards, turn all these off. These are all little things which could be happening in the background. So video autoplay, audio autoplay, notification settings, turn that one on because it's do not interrupt. Data monitoring, so this is monitoring in the background, turn it off. Privacy settings, off, off and off. And that just turns off everything which might be happening in the background on your device. Hope those were a few little good tips. Let me know any other good tips underneath. One last one which might be useful for you. Um, this all depends on where you are around the world. Actually, sometimes a VPN can slow your speed down, but in some countries, using a VPN can stop your internet service provider throttling you, okay? So some countries, they throttle your speeds, so it becomes slower. So if you use a VPN, you will get higher speeds than what you are currently getting. This isn't for all. Some using a VPN will get slower speeds, but it does open up other options of streaming from it elsewhere. Um, IP Vanish is a partner of ours. That is linked directly underneath. If you are interested in that, that's an affiliated link. Helps support the channel, but that's completely your option. Brilliant. I'm going to get out of this office. It's nearly 30 degrees in here. We're having a bit of a mini heat wave in the UK. Hope you're doing well. Thank you for watching. Hope that was helpful for you. Remember, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up. I've been Doc Squiffy, drop those comments underneath, and I'll see you soon.